is ANN News Brief. Rwanda has closed two markets in Kigali City following a surge in COVID-19 cases. The Mutangana and Kigali City market have been closed for at least a week now to send the spread of the coronavirus. Market vendors have raised concerns about storage for their perishable goods that have now been removed from the locked markets. Security and city personnel were in the market on Monday to oversee the vendors as they move the perishable goods. But the greatest concern now for those that usually operate at the market is where they will take their wares and how they will be sold, though some of them have been able to get storage with other shop owners. The government now requires each vendor at all markets in the city to be tested twice. They are also to get their incoming supplies from the provinces at designated areas. Rwanda has reported nearly 2,500 COVID-19 cases. The Norwegian embassy in Mali and a security source have said a possible military mutiny was on the way on Tuesday outside Mali's capital, Bamako. Opponents of the current president, Ibrahim Boubaka Keita, have led mass protests since June, calling on him to resign over what they say are his failures to restore security and address corruption. Mali's opposition, the MR5 RFP, had said it will intensify anti-government protests starting from today, Tuesday. The mass rally has also been set for the weekend in what the party says is an effort to step up protests against the president, whose resignation protesters have demanded. Norwegian embassy has advised its citizens to exercise caution and preferably stay at home until the situation is clear. Efforts by regional bloc ECOWAS to bring an end to the Malian crisis have failed, with the opposition refusing to compromise on its demand for the president's resignation. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Africa Free Trade Agreement Secretariat has been commissioned in Ghana's capital, Accra, and handed over to the African Union. The Free Trade Agreement is expected to open the market to the continent's more than 1 billion people. The trade agreement was to be launched in July, but was postponed to January next year because of the coronavirus pandemic. Ghana's President Nana Akufo-Addo said at the inauguration of the Secretariat that his country has fulfilled all the obligations it agreed with the African Union. He said the country has also provided adequate residential quarters as official residence for the Secretary General of the AFCFTA. The Continental Free Trade Agreement, when operational, will allow 1.2 billion people in Africa to trade among themselves. The Secretariat now has the task of ensuring that all is set for a grand launch of its implementation from January 2021. That is the ANN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi. <laughs>